Welcome to municipality of Babini here in Tagum City. The goal today is to drive north uh, from Davao City up around Davao Gulf and try to find uh, somewhere to go to the beach. So I want to go for a swim, it's hot here, it's 32 degrees. So I've kind of mapped out this route here and I don't really have, that's a destination, that spot there on the map, but I don't really know if I'm going to go there. But if we look into this area, then we'll see that there's quite a few uh, beach areas along here, white sandy beach. So I'm thinking somewhere there I can go for a swim. The thing is that uh, most of the places, one of the things I've found annoying in uh, the Philippines is that most of the places that are near the beach and near nice beaches tend to be resorts and the resorts uh, basically own the beach. So you want to go there and you need to pay at the resort to enter and then get to the beach that the resort controls and then you can go for a swim to pay to enter. But here's the thing, right? Looks really nice, doesn't it? So, but here's the thing. The Philippines is 7,000-ish islands. So I'm thinking that uh, there's got to be a lot of places where the land meets the water and I can just get off my scooter and walk to the beach and go for a swim. Uh, I've done that a few times in around Samal Island. There's another video somewhere up here you'll probably see that um, we went for a tour just looking for a place to go for a swim around Samal Island, avoided the resorts and ended up finding the perfect spot on a beautiful beach. So I'm going to try and do that again today, uh, this time going around Samal Island, around the north side of Davao Gulf and um, find a stop to spot and go for a swim. to record a bit while driving and you can see and experience what it's like driving here and you'll see the streets and the traffic and later about an hour into the driving you'll see some of the countryside as well. In 200 meters slide right after Davao Jones Academy on the right onto Davao City Diversion Road Pan Philippine Highway Asian Highway 26. The roads can be really rough here sometimes, so there's a lot of camera shaking at some points in the video, and rather than try to apply video smoothing or even cut out the clip, I left it in sometimes to add drama, and really it is drama when you're driving on the busy streets in traffic and you hit the rough surfaces, and it really makes it so you can't even see straight sometimes. So whatever you think it looks like in the video, trust me, it's worse when you're actually on the road driving. Here's my secret on how to avoid traffic delays in Davao. I know, I know it's illegal and the LTO office, the uh, land traffic office, would not like it very much, but I was in the gridlock and um, I saw the other guys on the scooters doing this, so I wasn't the first guy on a, on a scooter or on a motorbike to jump up on the footpath and try to bypass all this gridlock. And it must be pretty rough waiting, especially for the people commuting and sitting in the back of one of the jeepneys in the line here. I reckon it's, it's nearly a kilometer of gridlock here.
I really like the pedestrian footbridges here. The columns uh, supporting the overpass are always styled and decorated with the patterns of the local native tribes. This is a really long bridge that um, had really nice scenery out to the left and the right that I can't show you on the video because the camera is mounted to the handlebars um, and I can't steer and swerve all over the road so you just have to take my word for it. But it's a really long river, I can't remember the name of the river so here's a mental note, look up whatever the river is called and add it to the video. But it's a um, beautiful, um, certainly the widest river that I've seen in um, the Philippines so far and it leads straight into the Davao Gulf, which is not very far, about um, maybe five, six hundred metres, maybe a kilometre downstream from where the bridge is. And there's quite a few houses that you'll see when you're looking over the bridge down the right-hand side in amongst the palm trees that I'm sure would get flooded because there are signs along the road that say it's a flood-prone area and I'm sure those houses will get flooded. But at the same time, I had a quick look uh, more carefully on the way back when I was driving and I could see that most of the houses are quite new, as in maybe they have, weren't built uh, until after the last major flood that would have got rid of whatever the previous houses were there. Um, so yeah, it's uh, an interesting um, dynamic. The scenery when you're driving along in the provincial areas out in the countryside in the Philippines is so beautiful, it's amazing. I love it so much and uh, I um, am never bored when I'm driving. There's so much to see and there's so much nature and especially I'm very fond of palm trees and mountains and valleys and obviously beaches as well but the, um, the countryside in the Philippines is so spectacular and beautiful. Everywhere that you drive out in the provincial areas it's all just so beautiful and amazing. The area we're aiming for is called the Municipality of Mabini in the province of Davao de Oro. Mabini is an area of about 400 square kilometres and is roughly situated on the northeast coast of Davao Gulf. There are 11 different barangays or villages um, with a total of around about 40,000 people population. And based off the data from the last government census, over 30% of the population here is under 14 years old. As we're driving, I can see signs on the side of the road advertising some of the resorts as we pass by. They promote the adventure lifestyle activities to do in the area and we are near the coast so they show images of swimming and kayaking and that kind of thing. I'm sure people from Davao drive to come here for the weekend and go swimming as you can't really go in the ocean water near Davao City due to pollution. So unless of course you go to Samal Island. So Davao de Oro and Mabini would be the next closest area. The native culture here are uh, the Mansaka tribe. Mansaka derives from man with a literal meaning of first and saka meaning to ascend. Um, and this kind of means the first people to ascend from the mountains upstream. Mansaka is also the name of their language. And if you want to go down a deep rabbit hole, Google Mansaka history and language, some clicking around could lead you back through waves of Austroasiatic migration and ancestry and if you look wide enough even the oldest known Denisovian DNA strains. The Philippines really has such an amazing and diverse history and culture. Now that we're in Mabini 
municipality area. It's kind of the region that we're aiming for. So I'm checking the map to see where we should be going. Davao Gulf and the beaches are out to the right. So I know there's a right hand turn somewhere coming up. Um, the directions from Google Maps were to go down what turns out to be a private road through the middle of a banana plantation. But on the road that the map says to go, there is a security gate and a guard at the entrance. So we stopped and we talked to Kuya and he said to go back towards the last barangay and take this alternate road. Continue for two kilometers. So this is the first time we've ever been here and we're really just guessing based on a blurry satellite image on Google Maps. But we're thinking that at the end of this road, after we drive through this very quiet little village on this quite gravelly road, that at the end there should be water and hopefully a beach and we can go swimming. for a swim.
Yeah. Where are we? You don't know this place. <laughs> What's the last town that we drove through? Do you remember? Uh, Mabini? Mabini. Yeah? Uh, Mabini, Tagum. Okay. Yeah. How long does it take us to get here? How long did it take us to get here? Hmm. Yeah, two hours. From Davao? Yeah, from Davao. Yeah. Coming here in Madini. So, two hours. It's a nice place for you. No entrance, it's free for everybody. We're gonna go for a swim? Uh, maybe. Because I change my outfit, I don't need to After that, photo shoot. Yeah, I like that idea. Hi. What's in the bottle? Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's get changed and go for a swim. Swim? Before swim. Well, before swim. I need a dress, a picture. I'm wearing my dress, a photo shoot, then wear a bikini, photo shoot. Then after that, swim. Okay. Let's mm. go. Let's go. Okay. Over there is Samal Island and over there is Davao City. You can see in the distance maybe the port, the loading docks for the cargo ships. So all the way around that side and ended up at this beach. Welcome to municipality of Mabini here in Tagum City. Now we are here in Barangay Tignanan and we are in also a uh, public uh, beach. You can see in the big tree from the shelter and the rock formation. And you see also the kids enjoying the beach for swimming. Come on guys and see you for That's really nice, babe. Really nice. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah. I'll see you next time. I find you to the boat. Okay. Call me. Yeah. See you.